Saturday, 21st of September 2019, and I've just met Kevin L behind me at our uh, usual meeting points in Sainsbury's, and we're off for a ride out today up to uh, Carsington Water with uh, a stop off for a cup of tea in Ashbourne. We're running up there. Um, Today's forecast is absolutely glorious for weather, this late in September, so it would be uh, remiss of us not to uh, get the bikes out on a day like this, because I think the weather's turning a bit sour tomorrow, so we'll uh, get this uh, extra day of nice weather for a ride out in. I'm on the Triumph Bob, uh, no, I'm not. I'm on the uh, Triumph Thruxton R today, second outing, uh, first outing was the uh, two weeks ago when we went down to the Priors, so this is the second outing, and I tried to look for somewhere a little bit further afield than our local southwest or westerly ports, and I thought, perfect day really, just to go that slightly bit further afield. Uh, up towards Matlock and, uh, and have a proper look at Carsington Water I've passed it a number of times but I've never stopped to have a look at it so we'll head up here we'll head up to through Great Bar up past Litchfield or through Litchfield the 515 uh, towards Ashbourne Ashbourne cup of tea and then uh, leave Ashbourne go north and then drop down uh, to cast into water and uh, have an hour there probably just enjoy the scenery before we have a uh, meander back probably the same way that we uh, that we came if you're interested in uh, our little excursion do uh, stick around for the rest of the video and I'll update you as the journey unfolds during the day. Okay, so we're through Blitzfield now. Just come off the A51 onto the A515, which is the uh, the Ashbourne Road. Uh, now for now we might get a, uh, some nice scenery and some nice uh, sweeping roads. So I'm crossing the West Coast Bay line there. An intersection between uh, Litchfield, Tramp Valley and uh, Stafford. So, Buxton R. I'm really impressed with the bike. It's, uh, power and torque is just there through every gear. Uh, and when you roll it on, when you're in the high gears, you just roll it on. The power's there at your fingertips, really. Uh, it's difficult to really get a proper proper go of what it can do on our roads but it just never seems to let me down when I uh, open the throttle there's just instant power there as you can see there I'm riding uh, my age now 55 a couple of weeks ago um, Whenever I ride any of my bikes now, it takes a, a little while for me to uh, for my joints to settle into uh, the position they've been forced into. Um, so I'm always a little bit achy when I first start to ride it, and that will ease off through the day. By the time I get to the end of the day, I'll be uh, I'll be right as right and wanting to carry on as long as I can. So uh, it's a different riding position to what I'm used to. I've never had a cafe rail style bike before. Uh, I know that this is not a severe position because the, uh, the clip-ons are quite raised up on this but it's still uh, a lot more uh, what's the word I'm looking for? a lot more crouched and cramped than I have been on any of my previous bikes but I knew I was going to get that and uh, I'm by no means complaining about it uh, I just love the look and the sound. I hope the microphone's picking up the sound properly. And, uh, it's just a lovely sound. And, uh, to go 
go with the bike. It was a birthday present. I got uh, some of the kids to uh, to buy me a, uh, a Dexter Crash Helmet. Uh, open face, no visor. Not sorry, not open face. It's a, uh, a full face helmet, but with no visor. So it's worn with goggles. I've got the Dexter Marty goggles as well. Uh, so it's first time using these today. I'm liking it so far. Only thing I need to do is tighten the goggles slightly. Let's adjust them a little bit tighter. But uh, it's uh, in quite a nice spacious area on it. So uh, i trying to sport a bit of a look that, uh, that's more in fitting with the bike than my uh, helmet that I wear on the uh, Tiger Explorer, the HJC. Right, so we've crossed the A50 now, still on the 515. We're now heading up towards Ashbourne, where we're going to stop for a bit to see. I was on this ride a few weeks back, 3rd of July to be uh, precise, very early in the morning. And we were heading up to uh, Northumberland and our Short uh, four day holiday up there. Prior to that, being up on this road in July, I was up on this road in April, I think, and we went up to uh, when it's fast. We had our ride around the Derbyshire uh, Peaks. So, third time this year, I think, on the bikes for this one. For this particular stretch of road. It's only in view as you come down this hill there. So we're going up there and turning right. Right, we've just had a cup of tea. Well, uh, Hello, I had a cup of fruit tea. I had a um, cappuccino and Kev had a latte in the calf down there. That was very nice. Now we're going to go and find Carsington Water. Should be down here somewhere, I think, on the right hand side. So I'm looking for the 5035, I think it is. like a blooming June or July day as well absolutely fabulous weather Look at this. Beautiful. So cool and fresh riding through there then.
this is just lovely what a place wow absolutely beautiful wilderness on your doorstep There it is, Carstington Water. Beautiful. I have the same stand problem as you. Yeah. You can't find it, it's tucked right under, isn't it? Yeah, eh? Yeah. I know, it's still tucked right under, you can barely find it. That one's ridiculous, I That's what mine needs on from the lot, Yeah.
through Ashbourne, back on the 515 there, there towards uh, Richfield.